But then when I came back here, I was in the country. I was in, I was in, I was in like this, this giant beautiful field with the diesel truck and I was going through harvesting for for winter so I could get all of that good money. And then, and then I remember that my grand, my granddad took me to Vietnam and took me out there to that battlefield. Man, I got like, I got like six people killed that day. And it was, it was just, it was amazing. It was beautiful. I just felt like, I just felt like I was in, I felt like a real American at that moment with the man with the gauge to them. And that thing was like, that was like five shots, 12 years. It was a really nice gun and then it got blown up and it explosion. But here I am again, trying to go back to the country. And all, and now I'm just stuck in this, this, uh, this, um, whatever it is, this place is made of these, these old, um, these Gynanomosaurus buildings, and I don't even know how they make these, because, like, how do you build a building that's taller than my, that's taller than my mom's house? Like, every time you try to build a building like that shit, wouldn't it just, like, collapse? I don't even know what's going on, because these buildings are, like, Gynanomosaurus, Gigantinormous, however you say it, I don't know. But this is, like, I mean, if I'm at, I'm born in Texas, born and raised in Texas, then I moved over here, and I don't know what's going on here, man. Texas is just like Texas. You get inside, you get a, it's a nice day, or either got them. Uh, and it's just like um, it's like it's something like uh, this is something that I man, I don't even know what happened. Man, I, I mean, either Texas is a beautiful state. I mean, you either go outside, it's nice and sunny, you can you know, there's a drought going on, or you, Go outside and you got a nader in your front yard. Man, I tell you, I went through a lot of tornadoes in my time. Man, don't pick up the entire house. They pick up the diesel truck, they throw it around. But, you know, that thing is, you know, that old thing is still going to start even after it was hurled, I don't know how really far in the air. And then, like, you know, you get, you get the old 12 gauge when that tornado is coming towards your house, fire it right in there. It, it just, like, changes the direction immediately. So you could save your entire family from whatever's going on there. But, I mean, I love Texas. Every time I go there, I feel like I'm back home. And, and I feel like I could just, I just want to, like, own some land there. I can do some farming there in that beautiful environment. Man, Texas is, like, the best state ever. It's got, it's got all the American stuff that you need. Everything in England is there. All that American patriotism. You got all the American flags with the... The beer, oh, liquor stores, and you need those. Got to get down. Got to go drive down the dirt roads in the sunset. Oh, it's like, like, man, can you not touch me like that? I don't want you to get your own filthy hands on me. Man, I was trying. I was trying to go to this. I just went like, I just went here, and then I'm like, yo, there's these gigantic no sort of buildings here, and then like, and I'm like, yo, how did they even build these? And then I'm like. There's so much traffic and stuff, and I can't even like. There's no fields for farming or anything. You got all these these city boy radio stations. You got no country on the FM radio. They don't got country on the FM radio here. That is just a disgrace. That is an abomination of the city. I tell you, this is something that, that's something I've never seen before. I thought every FM radio had that country station on it. That one country station that had all them nice classic country songs that all you listen to. It's all you listen to while you're out there farming on the fields. Gotta install that radio on the tractor so you can listen to that old, that old 70s country music while you're sitting out there plowing, getting before the winter season so you can get all that money, sell all that stuff, that grain to <laughs> sell the grain to the, the stores and get all that money. I tell you, this is something that, man, I thought I could come to the city. I thought it would be a nice place. But no, a city is like this. Every time, every time you walk outside, you get. You almost get hit by a car, I tell you. And all these people here, they don't even care. They got their, they got their faces stuffed in their little electronic devices, whatever they call their magical, um, electronic thingies that they got there. I don't even know what those are meant for. Like, how do you even make those? They're like little magical devices that have a screen on them. They just look at you, can like get anything you want, get like a calculator, you can look up, you can buy a new diesel truck on Facebook Marketplace. That's where I got my diesel truck. That Facebook Marketplace, that's amazing. Got her for six hundred dollars. She was still working, but she still works out. Even though she got a few problems, but I don't think that matters that much, man. But I think, man, I love, man, I love America. I love this country. Man, this guy, man, you got all that. You got the Second Amendment. You know, you got all that. You got all that country stuff. You got all the, the liquor. You got all the diesel trucks. You got all the, uh, got all the country boy stuff. Got all that good liquor too. You got all that. 
You gotta have like that Jack Angels, you know, that stuff. That's some good stuff you gotta have right there. It's like, it's just like some kind of like, it's just like something down there. It's like best tasting no. thing ever. You know, that's like, it's just like, it's just like amazing. Like, you know, every time, every time I try to go out here to see, they don't got that stuff. When they don't have that stuff in the store, that's just a disgrace. That's just an abomination. That's a city boy abomination when you don't have that stuff in the Man, you try to tell me to shove. How would you get your little city boy out of here? you are a city boy abomination. You better get your little, better get your little, um, little two-legged, just standing on two-legged dog looking out of here, boy, I tell you. People just walk by me every time. They're so pretty, but, man, I try to, I just try to, like, walk around here, you know. Uh, you know, like, they just gonna walk around here, nobody's always so mean because they go, uh. you know, we're out here talking here, you know, you know, you don't close the door like you jump in a barn or something like that, you know, my, my mom taught me to be nice to other people, you know, taught me to have manners and respect everybody else, but I don't know if I can follow that anymore with everything going on here, you know, I don't even have my 12 gauge on me right now, uh. it's just, it's just something that I, like, I can't even, like, comprehend right now, it's like, Man, I just want to, I don't want to be in this place with all these abominations. Man, they trying to touch me and stuff, but that's just weird. I'm going to have to file a restraining order on this place. It's just weird. I'm about to, right, man, when, like, when I get my diesel truck, I'm going to be go on and out of here because I don't even want to be in here no more. This place is just weird, man. I was like, man, this looks like I was just trying to, try to find my diesel truck, and all of a sudden, all these people just come up to me. They're so rude. They're trying to touch me and stuff like that. So I'm trying to touch me, and it's always just like, it's always the worst thing because, like, every time, every time, I mean, what the, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? I don't know. That's just weird. Man, I'm just trying to sit here and just talk about all these stuff. I don't know. Man, I just talk about how I don't like to see. Because this is like, this. sometimes there's just these city boy abominations that you see. It's always those things that you can't all do. Man, I can't even like, I can't even like walk around this place without, without like people trying to be rude to me. It's just weird because like, I'm just trying to talk about everything I got to talk about. And then nobody's like, nobody wants me. Talk about anything and that's just rude. You never know, you don't supposed to interrupt anybody when they're talking. And that's just something my mom taught me. No interrupting people. That's one of the many life lessons she gave me for being kind of respectful. But I can't be kind of respectful here if people aren't going to be kind of respectful back. Man, I'm going to have to get my 10 gauge. To, I'm going to have to get my, my grand, I'm going to have to get my granddad's 12 gauge from, not his 10 gauge from his, uh, from his, uh, from his barn there. I'm going to have to get that off the wall. Bring it over here and teach them a country boy lesson over here at this place. I don't even know what this is like. I don't even know what this is like meant for. Man, look at this one trying to hit me with a hammer. What do you think they're doing? You gonna go make me get my 12 gauge right now? Man, I tell you, you better get your city boy out of here. You get not you. It was not. It was not him. I saw you there. I saw it like in the back of my eye. Man, I've been working the fields for 27 years. I can see stuff through the back of my head. I tell you, that was it was that one right there that tried to hit me with that dang hammer. I tell you, people in here trying to kill you and stuff like that. This is just like something that this place I never seen before. Like you can't go around trying to kill people. That's all. That's all like a city boy abomination thing. Like, man, I can't even walk around and be safe here. Man, get your hands off my head right now, you little. I don't even know what that is. That's just like some kind of city boy thing. That's like one of them, one of them dang horror games that I don't even like. Man, my, I tell you, my grandchildren play those horror games. They're just weird. They got these little magical computer devices or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. They just play on those devices all the time, and it's so it's just so weird because every time, every time <laughs> they play on like some kind of bad. Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. <laughs> man, I don't even know what just happened. I just like, man, I just I just heard that sound, bro. I was just like, I'm just like, man, that guy just walked right up to me. I told you. And I was like, I didn't even know what was going to happen there, man. I was just like, oh, he's probably just going to come out to listen to me, too. But no, came over here, hit oh me, turned God, me into this abomination. I don't even know what this Why? is. Oh my this is God. like something. This is just uh, one of these things that all my grandkids want to become. This is like, this is just what? It's turned into a city boy abomination. I tell you, this is some disgrace to the country. Man, I can't even get in my oh, deals right. in trouble with this happening to me. Man, I tell you, this is just like, this is just like, man, this has already happened once before, and I just happened again. Man, it was that explosion at first. That was just some guy hitting me, and then I turned into this dang thing right here. Man, if you don't turn me back, I swear I'm about to. Man, he's gonna make me go get my 12 gauge if he does not. Man, you better, you better turn me back into what I was right now. I don't want to be this shit boy abomination thing. Man, you just changing my color. That's just like that's just something that's crazy. Man, I was like, man, he's like start changing my color, and I was like weird. I don't want to like. 
four more beaters right crazy. there. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, why are you just trying to buy it? This is like, man, this is like, man, I just turned into one of them, one of them uh, little abominations, one of them little critters that can walk on two legs. Man, I don't even know how to train things to walk on two legs, man. I can't even like, I can't even like exist around here. Trying to hit me and turn me into one of these little sea boy abomination things. One of these sea boy abomination critters that can walk on two legs. Man, last time I saw a little critter that could walk on two legs, I could watch that SpongeBob movie that my grandkids watch. Man, SpongeBob was the best cartoon ever, but this is just this is just something else, man. I tell you, I never seen nothing like this before. This is like, man, this is so, this is like, man, this is not what these American is meant to be. This ain't what American is meant to be. Man, I can't even. Man, I'm just trying to like walk around here and tell everybody about my wisdom, and then all of a sudden, this guy comes up, hits me, turns me into one of these city boy abomination critters. Man, this is just something that, man, I can't even get into diesel no more without feeling like this. Man, this is like, man, I, just, I gotta get out of here, boy. Bro, I gotta get out of this little uh, city here and I can get back Where's to my nice country I'm over there and get into diesel and get my, my little self back, because this is just not, this is just ain't correct. This is just some abomination that I've never seen before. This is just like, this is, I just wanna like, man, I'm about to, I'm gonna reset right now. I don't wanna even look like this no more. This is just like some, this is some weird thing I ain't never seen. Man, I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna keep speaking my wisdom. Man, I just been incapacitated. I can't move no more. That's not good, man. <laughs> man, I'm glad I'm back to my normal self, cause that man, I don't want that man to touch me ever again. I don't even know what happened there, man. I was just, I was just sitting there and just walking around looking, and all of a sudden, this guy just comes up, hits me, turns me into one of them abominations. I don't even know why he would do that. There was no reason to do that. I was just, and I was just, I was sitting here talking about, talking about the country, talking about how the city's bad. Now that you turn me into one of them city boy abomination critters, and I don't want to live around here. I can't imagine living around here. This is something that, man, I don't even know how people live around here. This is like, this is like some unlivable conditions almost. Man, this is like, man, this guy would agree with me because he's American, obviously. He's from the country. Man, I can't. Oh, no, he's. He's, he's being mimics. I think his shit broke or my shit broke. I don't know. <laughs> he's so sticky. He's so sticky. I think my shit broke. No, no, no. He's he's silent. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Nah, bro, that's crazy. It did I look at his shit. What the fuck was that? I don't know, man. It scared me too. I don't know what happened. No, there's no more on base. I don't know. They only ban you like once you get like a certain amount of reports. That's what happens to my account. And I ain't even say anything bad. See? He fucking eats it because he's fat. <laughs> You're still speaking this shit, bro. Navi, can I put a donut on your tail? Is that fucking work? Uh, no, I wish. <laughs> 